show you guys some fundamentals of rooting. People always talk about throwing and hitting, all this stuff. And all that's great, but if you don't have a root, none of the rest of it works. Uh, I've, I've seen guys, they know three or four different Tai Chi forms, and as soon as you touch them, they just fly away. So, root is a really important thing. Um, what we're going to do is going to start off with some basics. I, I've trained a lot of push hands champions over the last couple decades, and everyone always says, wow, your student's got really good roots. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I do to give all those guys those good roots. So, first exercise. Basically, you go in a front stance. So we go in a front stance, Tai Chi front stance, and we do a double ward off in front of us. Now, if I turn my Dai Chen to one corner, and I turn my Dai Chen to the other corner while I'm front weighted, then I am in the first position. If F feel where center is. Go back to center. Now you know center is incorrect in Tai Chi, right? So you move forward an inch and you're just in front of center. And you go to the left and to the right, just in front of center. You go past center, just behind center. And you go left and right, just behind center. And then the fourth position is to go way back single rooted and go left and right this way. So this is the first exercise. So just take a little time, front stance, left and right, just in front of center, just in right, just behind center, and all the way back to the third position all the time. And they thought that that was my, my back position. So then when they really came at me, I went to the fourth position, and invariably they would go flying because they didn't think I was I had more to go, especially of those styles where, where you retreat to keep the toe down. If you retreat, notice I've got a good four or five more inches of retreating distance if I raise that toe, but my center has to be centered over my rear leg. So you need to be able to turn, but notice that my knee, I'm not buckling my knee. Sometimes you have to separate the upper and lower. If you want to keep everything connected, because you can't keep everything connected, this leg is, is your base. So you can turn this one if you want, or you can practice just turning above the wings. So this is the first exercise. Okay, the second exercise, grab a partner. Somebody about your size, somebody about your height. Okay, here's one of my guys. Okay, the next one is called seven point pushes. Seven point pushes. Okay. Yeah, well, let's see. Here, here. All right. This exercise starts in a Tai Chi horse stance. The seven points are the four corners and the three down the middle. Those are the seven points. And what I'm going to do, if he is practicing, if he's, basically you switch off, right? So, uh, so if I'm going to push him, the person who's pushing is practicing a particular technique. But I'm practicing is pushing from the leg, through my torso, to my hand. He is practicing yielding. So when he yields, he's either going to shift his weight to one side or to the other side. And if he feel, if his sensitivity is good, he's going to know I'm not penetrating too much. And he might not need to do anything other than follow his chest. So you develop the, the, the sensitivity after a while when you know, oh, this will neutralize it, or this will neutralize it, or this will neutralize it. So the seven point pushes, I push him and he comes back. And I'm pushing from my legs, and he is retreating from his legs. The four corners, you can hook. If I pull away, see, I'm not pulling him. There's no pulling in this. This is I just connect and turn. That's how I can bring a person forward without using physical strength. If I get him on the waist, it's the same thing. Notice how he's healed. And then the three down the middle are the hardest ones. Those are the hardest to get away from. You have to, you say, pay attention to the energy. Okay, grab a part. All kinds of multiple stuff on you a lot of times. Steven. I tell you, 
that uh, there are long before actions of things so, so that are routine. So the next so level of this is multiple pushes. And in multiple pushes, you can push twice and you can add a fate. Notice how a lot of times you touch people and they react? Okay. That's because they, they, they cannot discern whether it's a real attack or a fake attack. So you throw in fakes. So this exercise consists of two, uh, two pushes with a fake. So it could be push, push. If I put a fake at the end, it doesn't count. But if I go fake, push, push, any of the seven points. And I'm not letting him come back to center in between that. There are multiple. It's a compound attack. Push, push. Oh, this is for my legs, right? Okay, I'm the fake, moment you're push, push, push. You this is much harder. Fake, push, push. That's all right, you've been pushing with people, now you've got to go. Yeah, yeah, push, push, push. Fake, push, push. Now you can push, push. Now you can push, push. 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 This is considerably hard, so we expect to get pushed around. There's an old saying, there's an old saying that's in the classic somewhere, and it says when you learn push hands, you have to get pushed a thousand times before you get one good push hand. So get your thousand out of the way now. Okay? Or the other. Now, this rotation, I'm taking my center line, and once I rotate my center line, into this root, I'm in a good, strong, stable position. So this root here is actually my position to counterflow. So in other words, where's Steve? Come on here. So if he pushes me, right, just I'm turning, right? He's making me turn because I have to choose what side I'm gonna I'm going to put my center line into. And my and my rotation created my counter. So I didn't have to counter. His action causes my counter. My yielding, my yielding creates my offense. I'm not doing this as a yin yang thing. Uh, let's see, who was it? Uh, Julie mentioned something about not being the other person, that the two of you are together. So in, in the higher levels of push hands, yes, there is, in the beginning when you do push hands, it's you against them. Then after a while, when they do something, it's not you against them, it's you and them, it's just one piece of a circle. And they're doing whatever they're doing, and you are, you're just waiting for the opening. And then when, you, when the opening is there, then you apply your four ounces to deflect a thousand pounds. So in this, when he pushes me, my, my yielding creates this circle. And if I just catch anything, I can just keep on going without, without much effort. That's the idea of push hands. You want to use the least amount of effort to accomplish the maximum account, amount of, of uh, response or from your opponent. But at the same time, again, that root is allowing me to rotate on the root. I shift it to this rotate, this root, I can rotate on that root. That's what this thing was. So th from this, you have all the options, or thousands of options of, of where, your, uh, where you can take this person. Now the next exercise I'm going to show you is something where you can test where your root is. Go in the front stand, to up. Okay, now. His structure has to be correct, right? They always talk about vertical spine, knee not past the toe, all of these nice alignments, round here, and good battery. So, so if I push him, and he just he uses muscle to resist against me, I can overwhelm him. But if he uses correct force, he drops his pelvis, keeps his back straight, he wants to feel my energy go through his body and go to his back legs. So, this is another exercise. Now see how he, he returns back to the ward off. If the person finishes way out here, you know that they're counter, they're using counter force. The idea is not to use counter force, the idea is to make all of my energy go through his body and he wants to make it go through his root into the ground so that the ground is being pushed, not him. So here... If you do it right, it's almost... You, it's, it's the posture itself, the roundness here, the roundness here, the roundness 
the, the string stability here. That's how you can drop that root into that leg and uh, send it into the ground. And then when they get tired, you just turn and throw them. You know? or, or you let it go into the ground, and while it's going to the ground, you turn and throw it. And again, that's how you can not use a lot of strength. Grab your partner again. Let's work this one. 